Hello students, welcome to Sayadri PO College, Take a Road, Kolar. I, Dr. S.R. Manjunath, I completed my UG, PG and doctoral degree from Bangalore University. Since from last uh, 22 years, I am in continuous touch with both research and also with the academic activities. Once again, I welcome you all to the Sayadri group of institutions. I completed my doctoral degree in biology. I am the faculty in biology since from last 10 years. With reference to the bridge course in biology, in order to bridge the curriculum in between the 10th and 1st year PUC, this class will provide useful information. In addition to this, it will lay foundation stone foundation stone in understanding the concept very precisely, very precisely. With reference to the introductory aspects of biology, before going to the detailed discussion of the biology, with reference to the science, the word science is derived from the Latin word meaning to know. To know, to know the information, to know the concept, to know the working principle of any object in the universe, we need the essentiality of a unique scientific disciplinary called science. The word science is derived from a Latin word meaning to know. Science emerges from our curiosity about ourselves, about the world and the universe. In order to fulfill the human curiosity, we started to discover some of the unique concepts in the universe to understand the nature, to understand the nature. With reference to the origin of universe, the origin of universe, it will date back to 13.7 billion years. Some of the other researchers, they illustrate that the origin of universe, it will date back to 20 billion years. It will date back to 20 billion years. About 4.6 to 5 billion years ago, an event called Big Bang Explosion led to the formation of the solar system. At the time of Big Bang explosion, the Earth, it looks like a ball of fire. It looks like a ball of fire. The Earth is said to be the one of the unique entity in the solar system. The solar system, it mainly comprises of, the solar system, it mainly comprises of planets, satellites, asteroids, meteoroids, and also, you can find the presence of comets. With reference to the origin of Earth, the origin of Earth, it dates back to, the origin of Earth, it dates back to 4.5 billion years. It dates back to 4.5 billion years. The origin of living organisms, the origin of living organisms on the earth surface, it dates back to three point. The origin of living organisms on the earth surface, it dates back to 3.5 billion years. The first origin microorganism on the earth surface is said to be the a chemo heterotrope. The name of the chemo heterotrope is said to be the Nanobacteria. The nanobacteria is said to be the, the first primitive prokaryotic living organism indigenously originated on the earth surface by exhibiting the phenomenon of descent with modification. By exhibiting the phenomenon of descent with descent with modification, descent with modification led to the origin of, led to the origin of a primitive chemoheterotrope like prokaryotic organism were indigenously originated on the earth surface, were indigenously originated on the 
a surface by exhibiting the phenomenon of descent with modification followed by the natural selection followed by the natural selection during the course of evolution led to the origin of more than 8.7 billion species of living organism were found on the a surface it is roughly an estimate the earth is home for about 8.7 million species of living organisms according to international union for conservation of nature and natural resources so far only so far only 1.5 according to ioc only 1.5 only 1.5 million 1.5 Million living organisms, including plants and animals, are subjected to systematic classification, identification, and naming. Are subjected to systematic classification, identification, and naming. Living organisms, being living beings, are found in varied habitats. Yes. we call we popularly call it as the living organisms are ubiquitous in nature in each and every corner of the earth surface you can find a presence of living organisms living beings are found in varied uh, varied habitats like mountains oceans in the forest in the lakes in the deserts and even in the hot water springs even in the hot water springs you can find the presence of extremophiles you can find the presence of extremophiles this shows this shows these living organism shows the interaction between the same species and also they shows interaction with the other living organism just to continue the races on the a surface this shows intra as well as interspecific ecological relationship as well as cooperative interaction just to survive according to one proverb it illustrates that no living organism live no living organism will live independently on the a surface for the survival for the continuity of the life organisms on the a surface we need the essentiality of interaction intimacy we need the essentiality of coordination and cooperation within the species and also for the nutrient and energy transformation we need the essentiality of interaction between the other living organism just to continue just to continue with reference to biology biology is the natural science it mainly concerned with the study of life and living organisms yes in environmental terminology the biology is defined as it is a branch of natural science it mainly concerned with the study of it is a branch of natural science concerned with the study of life and living organisms such a unique disciplinary is called biology the living world the living world it mainly comprises of wide variety of living organism because of the presence of wide variety of living organisms you can find the presence of spectacular beauty of nature you can find the presence of spectacular beauty of nature the spectacular beauty of the nature is only because of the presence of the amazing diversity of living organisms with reference to with reference to the valid terminology biology it is the natural science concerned with the study of life and living organism concerned with the study of life and living organism then first uh, we discuss with reference to what is life life is defined as the dynamic system of coordinated 
वेल कोऑर्डिनेटेड फिजिकल केमिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटीज विच इज फिजिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय प्रोटोप्लाज्म विच इज फिजिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय प्रोटोप्लाज्म सच ए यूनिक सच ए यूनिक कांसेप्ट इज कॉल्ड लाइफ द डायनामिक सिस्टम ऑफ वेल कोऑर्डिनेटेड फिजिकल केमिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटीज which is physically represented by protoplasm which is physically represented by protoplasm is called life is called life in a valid terminology the protoplasm is defined as the physical and the living component the physical and the living component living component of the living organism is called protoplasm the physical and the living component of the cell or the living organism is popularly designated as protoplasm then what is meant by living then what is meant by living in a valid terminology the living is defined as the self replicating from the parents let the origin of offspring on the earth surface the self replicating as well as the self regulatory interactive system the self replicating as well as self regulatory interactive system that is able to respond to the surrounding that is able to respond to the external or the surrounding stimuli is called living the self replicating as well as self regulatory interactive system that is able to respond to the external stimuli is called living that unique property is seen only in case of living organism If you observe the main important unique characteristic features of the living organisms, basically, it contains the living organisms contains the cellular basis. It contains cellular basis. It will take part in the synthesis of energy. With the loss of thermodynamics, the energy is transferred. In addition to this, with the exhibition of unique genetic characters we inherit we transfer genetic character from one generation to the next generation such a unique characteristic features are naturally seen in case of living organisms seen in case of living organisms whereas the modern biology is said to be the one of the vast field the modern biology is said to be the one of the vast field it mainly composed of many specialized disciplines that will mainly study the the structure the function the growth the distribution of living organisms in addition to this the evolution of the living organisms are subjected to detailed discussion in the modern biology are subjected to detailed discussion in the modern biology biology it mainly draws it mainly incorporates some of the intellectual knowledge and information from chemistry and physics chemistry and physics If we consider a plant in order to determine the growth in the plant we need the essentiality of soil the soil is said to be the abiotic component of the earth the earth is said to be the product of physics the earth is the product of physics in addition to this if you observe the chemical composition of the soil you can find the presence of various mineral nutrients all the mineral nutrients are the part and parcel of the chemistry in addition to this the chemistry is the basis of life chemistry is the basis of life in order to transfer genetic character from one generation to the next generation we need the essentiality of dna the dna is said to be the the biological polymer 
the DNA is a biological polymer. It is chemically made up of carbohydrate derivative like a pentose sugar derivative called deoxyribose sugar. You can find the presence of phosphate group. You can find the presence of four important nitrogenous bases, namely adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine derivatives. They are the products of chemistry. They are the products of chemistry. Yes, the biology draws information from chemistry and physics for its foundation, for its foundations, and applies the laws of these disciplines to the living organisms in order to study the life. In order to study the life. Some of the important, some of the important concepts that are mainly concerned with the study of the biology are the first important concept of the biology, it clearly explains the study of the cell. The cell is said to be the unit of life. In order to understand the origin, evolution and distribution of life activities on the earth surface, we need the essentiality of studying the cell. In addition to this, the genes are said to be the unit of hereditary. The genes are said to be the, the structural and they are said to be the functional unit of DNA. In order to understand the role and function of genes, we need the essentiality of biology. In addition to this, how the living organisms are originated on the earth surface, how the unicellular organism gets transferred into multicellular organism. From the prokaryotic organisms led to the origin of eukaryotic organisms. From the single-celled organisms led to the origin of multicellular organism. All such evolutionary aspects are normally subjected to detailed discussion in order to understand the concept of unity and diversity among the living organisms. In order to understand the concept of unity and diversity among the living organisms, we need the essentiality of studying the biology through evolution. All living organisms survive by consuming the energy, by exhibiting the phenomenon of eating and being eaten, the energy is transferred to the successive tropic level. It is said to be the another important concept in the biology. Finally, in order to maintain the internal environmental conditions, in order to maintain the internal environmental conditions in the living organisms, we need the essentiality of studying the biology. We need the essentiality of studying the Biology. That unique concept is popularly called homeostasis. Homeostasis is defined as the, the maintenance of internal environmental conditions is called homeostasis. Then the next important aspect is what is the what are the basic principles of biology? What are the basic principles of biology? The foundation of biology is purely based on the five important basic principles. Is purely depends on the five important basic principles. The four, the five important basic principles are namely the cell theory. The second one is gene theory. The third important one is said to be the Evolution, evolution, the maintenance of internal environmental conditions called homeostasis, and finally, and finally, the loss of thermodynamics, the loss of thermodynamics are the five important basic principles of biology. The complete first and the second year PU curriculum is purely depends upon the five important principles of 
biology is purely depends upon the five important the principles of biology let the incorporation of let the incorporation of 30 uh, let the incorporation of 38 chapters in the PU curriculum incorporation of 30 uh, eight chapters in the PU curriculum the next important aspect is what is biology and what is uh, its importance with reference to the importance of biology biology is said to be the one of the important disciplinary meant for the studying of life and the living organism because it allows humans to better understanding their bodies in better understanding the various functional aspects of the body in order to understand their natural resources and also in order to understand the potential threats in the environment we need the essentiality of studying the biology we need the essentiality of studying the biology with reference to the potential threat in the environment today we are under the threat of covid 19 we are under the threat of covid 19 in order to understand the main important etiology of the covid 19 we need the essentiality of studying the biology biology it will it will mainly depends on it will mainly deal with the study of all living things so it helps people to understand every organism life from the smallest bacteria to gigantic gymnosperm called sequoia sequoia too in order to understand the complete life cycle and behavior and the reproductive aspects of the biggest mammal in the marine world called blue whale we need the essentiality of studying the biology we need the essentiality of studying the biology in addition to this in addition to this in order to understand the knowledge of nature in order to understand the knowledge of nature in order to understand what are the main important benefits offered from the nature through medicines in order to save god in order to conserve the nature for the next generation we need the essentiality of studying the biology we need the essentiality of studying the biology with reference to the main important sub Disciplinaries of biology. The field of biology is very broad. It is very immense in nature. The field of biology is broad in scope and can be divided into several disciplinaries. In general sense, in general sense, these disciplinaries are categorized based on the type of organism studied. For example, botany it will mainly deal with the study of plants, whereas zoology deals with the study of animals, whereas the microbiology deals with the study of living organisms that are too small to visible through the naked eye. In addition to this, we drawing information from several specialized uh, subdisciplines it mainly includes anatomy cell biology histology paleontology the study of fossils the embryology the morphology taxonomy evolution ecology genetics and physiology are said to be the some of the important specialized subdiscipline days normally comes under biology normally comes under biology with reference to the scope of biology with reference to the scope of biology the biology the scope of biology is immense in nature in each and every part of the uh, human lifestyle we need the essentiality of studying the biology we need the essentiality of studying the biology with reference to uh, in the field of health and medicine all the health workers such as doctors nurse health assistants 
dentists or mainly came from the biological background or mainly from the biological background different vaccines are developed only after the successful experimentation on wild animals through clinical trials in order to increase the lifespan of the human beings in order to control uh, you know, wide variety of viral and bacterial diseases we need the essentiality of vaccines in addition to this different medicines are prepared from plants and animal products the two ancient uh, medicinal practices are namely ayurveda and homeopathy in both ayurveda and homeopathy we making use of more than 25000 different varieties of plants are commercially exploited in order to cure wide variety of diseases without any side effects in order to practice two ancient uh, medicinal practices namely ayurveda and homeopathy we need the essentiality of studying the biology in addition to this the ayurveda is said to be the indian traditional medicine whereas the homeopathy is said to be the, the german traditional medicinal practice in addition to this different diseases such as malaria kala azar are mainly transmitted through vectors in order to control some of the important vectors like mosquito and sand fly we normally gain knowledge from the biological background we gain normally we gain knowledge from the biological background in the field of agriculture with the discovery of hybridization we are increasing the food production in order to provide staple diet for the growing population in order to provide staple diet for the growing population we need the essentiality of biological knowledge we need the essentiality of biological knowledge today all our agriculture uh, activities are making use of wide variety of chemical compounds nowadays through organic fertilizers make the soil fertile without making any environmental pollution through biological organism through biological organisms in order to produce or in order to practice organic farming different insects such as butterflies honey bees they helps in pollination thereby it automatically take part in cross pollination thereby it increase the food production in order to enhance the agriculture produce we need the essentiality of sound knowledge of biology we need the essentiality of sound knowledge of biology in addition to this the complete bakery and dairy industry the fisheries and various uh, agro based industries they mainly draw uh, knowledge from the biology they mainly draw knowledge from the biology in addition to this in order to control the pollution in order to provide safe environmental condition for the next generation and also in order to clean and also in order to provide safe environmental conditions to the next generation we need the essentiality of studying the biology we need the essentiality of studying the biology this is with reference to the main important introductory aspects of biology introductory aspects of biology with reference to the introductory aspects of biology i designed few multiple choice question once you go through and try to answer try to answer thank you thank you very much